All right, folks, so today we're going to talk about a few things. Yesterday, I uh, I got up you know, pretty early. Well, I actually never went to bed. I think I, I got two hours of sleep, basically. And uh, I intended to have a good time, make a video. I even bought a bottle of whiskey, a small bottle. Never even got opened until last night. Pretty scary, but... That is neither here nor there. Uh, what is, is what we're talking about today. And that is Linux. I spent the entire day yesterday inside of a virtual machine running on my little miniature Zotac here computer. Using up three and a half gig of RAM. And I'm going to show you just how easy this thing is to fire up. Here we go. Are you watching? I click on VMware. I've only got one VM. Well, it's Linux Mint with the cinnamon. Let's see how long this thing takes to uh, boot up. And we're going to make it full screen. Whoa! It's full screen! How does that work? Pretty darn good. Um, it's going to pop up here. It's going to take a little while. Remember, we only got three and a half gig of RAM. It's going to blink for a little while. It's going to go. Oh, there it goes. You know, it's going to do its thing. What you see on the screen here, this guy. Uh, the LM is Linux Mint. It's minty. Well, that's what your start button is going to look like. And basically, after that, you're going to say, we oh, just, just like Windows. How can that be? Really? So you get the wrong idea about Linux if you have never really tried it. I spent all day in here. All day. But obviously I still had Windows running in the background. It's easy to jump out of. But let's just wait. Let's wait for the magic sounds from the desktop. We're pulling our sound and our network through. Look at that, we're booted up. That look even remotely familiar, folks. I mean, sure, it, it looks different, but oh, what's that? Well, that's a start menu, just like Windows, or as a desktop, or if I plug a flash drive in, it'll go bloop and it'll be there. I can plug a phone in, an Android, and it'll go bloop. And see this an SD card. Well, let's see the SD card. Wait a minute. Is that how you shoot a video and then transfer it over? Ah, oh, that one. You learned. Here's your file menu. No, remember, everything's going to be a little slower. Sluggish. Perhaps. Oh, there it is. Ah, videos. What's it? Ah. There's X on them. Final review. Down here. This should be a fairly familiar icon. Kind of looks like that Chrome icon, doesn't it? Well, of course it does. It's going to ask me for a password right now to the default key ring, by the way. You'll get used to it. And I will type in my super top secret password, which you can't see anyway. And there we go. And guess what? New tab. Chromium. And it's like, 
Holy crap, that looks just like my regular desktop at home. The icons are a little different, sure. There's Chrome. No, Chrome is actually Chromium. It works the other way around, folks. Chromium is the real. This has all my bookmarks, all my passwords. It is just as secure as the Google browser without the Google stuff. So, I can do my Twitter, Facebook, Fox News, blah, 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 blah. Everything works the same. Oh, wait, but I'm kind of bored running that. Or I need to go check something in Windows quick. We need to do that. What's this? This is Windows. But the virtual, ma hey, the virtual machine is still running. I stayed in that thing all day. I didn't even go in where we're at now. All day. You just get so used to it. And it becomes so second nature. Yeah, sure, some things require a single click. And you get that to all this. And, but that's one of the coolest things about Linux. You can tell it to update all the software. And you know what Windows will do when it updates software? Well, you have to hit restart to apply. Uh, you can actually change the actual kernel. That's the entire, the real operating system in Linux. The one that has all the drivers in it. I mean, I don't have to install any drivers whatsoever to get that the uh, mint to run. Uh, and then, you know, the VMware is just, poof! You don't, Windows is gone. Now, I don't quite have the correct display width and stuff. Uh, I got about a 17-inch monitor here. Huh. Essentially, it's, and we've lost a little and I could make it too big, and then I'd have to scroll up and down. So I had to go somewhere in between. It's all right. The point is, you can sit here all day long. Let's say you want to. Remember, we were looking at that, uh, that hole there from yesterday. There's all the files for the review. Well, let's check this. Thumbnail out, the first one I did. Uh, open with the image manipulation viewer. The GNU. The GIMP, what most people call it. Now there's another version of this, I believe. But whatever. This is what it came with. I hope. This is one I'm used to. Uh, and, oh. It kind of looks like Photoshop and stuff. And it just kind of overlays and the toolbars and stuff are there. And say so I had to change this because look at that. Axom. M. Yeah, that's why there are two of those. But let's say I want to shrink that down. The image. Let's scale that sucker too. I don't know. Uh, 640 to 637 and we're at scale. Done. Poofta. That easy and then you do. You don't do well you can do an overwrite. You go up here and go file. Overwrite. Or you could export this as a ping. You could even select all the white out here as uh, transparent. It doesn't matter. Now we're going to close this and we're going to just discard all our changes. And we got our main window back and I'm going to close this. Those two. Oh, it's going poof. Okay. I'll go back and fix that some other day. I'm forever doing this stupid stuff with that. Uh, but, point is, 
it works well. And you can watch your videos and play around with websites and do all the things you want to. So, I don't want to hear anybody going, Oh, I could never learn how to use Linux. Really? No, what you really need to think to yourself is, I could never really go back to Windows. <sighs> you see, we run Linux at work on a gateway. And a dual core Radeon Tiburon, I think it's called, or something like that. With three and a half, no, two gig RAM. That's it. Well, when I got a hold of the machine, you know, the boss gave it to me. He's like, uh, can you make this work? It was a 2005 gateway. He's like, oh my God, it's got 32 bit. And it won't even, it won't even run Windows 10. And I ain't got a copy of Windows 7 for you. Not a convenient one. So, oh well. So be it. Oh yeah, just a, a little quick demo here. Remember I told you you plug a flash drive in? Okay, so, down here on the desk, I've got my little uh, hub. Correct? Yeah. All right, so, I minimize. And you can change the wallpaper. Everything works just like Windows wallpapers. And we're going to plug this in, and you're going to hear. Hear that? That little bloop. What? There's all my video files on that flash drive. And we're going to uh, so remove drive. Whoop, it's gone. I take it out of it. Windows finally gives its approval. Don't care. You could literally never need Windows again. And you can change the taskbar down here. You can change the size of the icons. You can do this little, that little, the other thing. There's all kinds of software built in. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let's go back in here. Uh, under, uh... All right. Where did that description... I, I don't just type that description in, folks. LibreOffice. And guess what? You can save this as a Microsoft Excel file if you want, or a Microsoft Document file. It'll work. And you can take a Microsoft Document file and bring it in here. That was yesterday's description. So, you know, when, I, when it came time to you know, do my stuff, and I'm uploading the video, I go like this, and like this, and just like Windows, I right click and I hit copy, and then I went over into Chrome, and where it says description, I pasted the whole damn thing. Poof! I'm done! Just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close it, because we haven't made no changes. So you can do your documents, your spreadsheets. Oh, you can check your email. It's even got, uh, it's got a ton of programs I don't even use. Oh, and, and the cost of this software. Oh, it's, uh, free. It's what? Yeah, it's free. Okay. All free. All free. So, uh, that's my little, you know, how, oh, one more, there's always one more, look, I'm sometimes finding stuff, here's OpenShot, what, what's OpenShot, it's where the magic happens, it's how we put videos together, folks, 
And yeah, it's not Final Cut, and it's not Adobe Premiere, and, uh, because we're doing this on a machine that every heavy duty high hit regular, oh, you can't edit videos on it. And to which I say, really? So let's check our most recent project. I only keep one, I just delete the files and import. This is yesterday's video. That's it. You put it together on a timeline. And basically anything up here will take over this. So if you want to have a picture pop up, you put your JPEG or your ping here, and it'll show up. Overlaying. It's how I do the little thing where I swipe my finger across. Yeah. And then I just have to get to that little point. And then I put the picture right there, and I animate it and say slide from the right to the left, to the left to the right, and the bottom to the top. And that's all there is to it. And then, poof, we're out of there. And you can pick how you're going to output it. You can put it up to Flickr. You can put it up to YouTube. You can pick your resolution. It's that easy, kids. It really is. So if you ain't trying Linux and you've got at least 8 meg go juice, you're doing yourself a disservice. Try it. You need about a, I think I got a 25 or 30 gig partition on here. Now, of course, I've decided after trying this, this is the one I like. There are, you know, there's Ubuntu, there's Debian, there's all kinds of distributions. Uh, they all look a little different, they have different tweaks. They're all, a lot of them based on Debian. Uh, Linux, even Ubuntu is, and then there's Red Hat, and then there's the commercial version of Red Hat. And there's, uh, I think, Linux Manjaro it is what used to be called Linux Mandrake, which was the first one I learned on that had a desktop interface. And worse comes to worse, it still has. You can bring up a terminal window and run all sorts of commands like chmod. With chmod. That's how you set read and write permissions for different users and groups. Oh. That's it. So, if you liked this video, enjoyed it at all, give it a big thumbs up and uh, you'll see that little subscription. Subscribe, click the bell, and uh, share it with everyone you know. Like I said, I tried to keep it short and I'm pretty sure I talked too long. But it's okay. We'll all survive. Have a great day.